Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as we're jumping back in Thrones of Britannia and a strat loot. I am about to jump in another battle here which will determine the fate of the region against Northlod and I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. I'm slightly afraid of his swords more than anything else. But this army should be able to take them on. The other problem we have at the moment is the lack of supplies because we'll keep taking attrition while we're still on negative food. We're, we have a pretty big penalty. That's why at the end of the day, what I want to ha have happened here is that we take care of this army and they're not in our land anymore because earlier at the end of the last episode when I took a look at their supplies, one of the problems is that he had full supply. So he, while we keep taking attrition because we don't have enough food, they keep staying strong on supplies. And by the time they would reach zero supplies, we would be too far into the, into the attrition game. So they would be able to go against us. As soon as we're done with this, I think I'm going to, with this battle, I think I'm going to be fusing because we don't need as much cavalry. Yeah, I can fuse these two and I can fuse like these. Yeah, probably it's probably just about right. Let's see, what do we have here? A bunch of scout horsemen, some Tain horsemen. So these are better at melee than these one, right? Yes, and they have better armor. But we have enough spears, I feel, to push against them. The Saxe Warriors and the Thanes, I'm a bit afraid of those. They have some long axemen in here which we could use our archers against. And they have another long axe unit here. Hmm. Okay. Well, with that in mind, eh, our troops are not in the perfect position. We're gonna have to definitely use our cavalry here to to destroy them maybe pele a bit more of a bait of a bait game where what i'm going to try to do is keep the enemy at a distance since we are attacking that might be possible but keep the enemy at a distance to where i can use my range troops against his axes. I am just imagining at the moment like how would that work, if it would work, what would be the downsides and so on. They're already reforming which is a bit unfortunate but maybe it's good at the same time. Now they have a bit of a like, this is a weird formation. They have part of their troops on one side. They've got a bunch of javelins and some long axemen on this side. Which really counteracts our spears. I feel like I could go even further in here. Maybe draw them in this direction. Let's try to push the spears forward, maybe try to get our cavalry in as well. I already can't... ...recommend this, I can't recommend this plan too much. Let's see, where is the axe that I want to target? Well... Not in the area. Let's try to bring these spears like so. This moment I'm gonna retreat them and I am going to advance with the spears. Okay, let's support them here by throwing some cavalry at them. Oh uh, yeah, let's retreat the generals. Archers, I want you to focus on these long axemen. I know we're stepping forward a bit too much, but 
Maybe that will be good. Let's bring these guys here. Try to see if I could make some sort of corners. Yeah, let's retreat you. Good, retreat these guys. Retreat the cavalry. Right, I, I, like, I'm trying to bait these guys in and then do a some sort of flanking, right? Double flanking. If I attack with you, I can bring you around like so. Let's engage with you. Yeah, I could do this. Okay, towards these guys go here. You, uh, archers, I want you to start firing upon this long axis. Let's continue retreating the spears. Bring the cavalry around. Uh, these guys shall go here. Let's retreat. Yeah, so these guys are here. You will continue attacking there. Where are these rats? That was such like we let we left those uh, swords there, and that was a bad move. At this point, yeah, they're being. Oh, yeah. well, let's see. You, I want you to attack here. I want these to attack here. Archers, let's start firing upon those long X-Men. I'm gonna bring the cavalry here. Uh, yeah, no, we're gonna retreat. Okay, that is good. That is a good charge there. Let's get you out. Okay. Good. Let's go after his archers then. Next. Mm, not sure exactly what to do with this cavalry, so I'm gonna bring them around here. These guys are almost done. These long axes, they're getting a good charge there. But maybe what we should do is counter charge them. Okay, cavalry, go forward. Don't get stuck. Nice. And now come over here. Let's do a really good charge on these axes. I think we can break them because they should be pretty weak. Okay. And then archers, I want you to start shooting on the tanks, but let's reposition you. Let's bring these spears because they are not tired. Bring them around. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted here. I'm super happy that we got it. Let's bring these spears around as well. You, uh, swords, let's get you involved in here. The cavalry, though, I will retreat. Yeah, let's continue shooting on these stains from the planks. Good, these guys are done. And we'll charge these spears here, trying to break them. The battle is turning in our favor. Let's see, where are we at? I think so far so good. We've managed to spread them out in a slightly weird way to where I feel like they're slightly confused of what to do and how to respond to us. 
which on one side is very good but on the other side like he has some good troops still standing so what do i want to do do i want to get them involved in here Mm, have some cavalry, so let's bring them forward in here. Archers. Let's charge in there, let's charge in here. Let's have these guys charge here. Putting these guys in this formation. And I am going to do a quick charge on the Sax Warriors. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Look at those numbers go down. It's really important, apparently, to put them in this formation. Perfect. You. The fact that we managed to break those is great and now we're about to break the Sax Warriors as well. Even though, of course, they did a good number on our troops. These guys are exhausted, that is not great. This one is active so maybe I'll push them in a position here. Let's see, General, how do we get... Charge? And maybe we'll do this. Hey, this cavalry is fresh. Look at that. Now they're in trouble. Yep. Let's see. This guy is tired. This guy is fresh. So I could, all things considered, do something along these lines. And we should be fine. Nice. And that leaves us only with the spear. Which I want to destroy. And we have plenty of cavalry to do so. Okay, this went fairly decent. Like, we haven't lost as many troops as I thought we would. We lost, however, we apparently we did lose probably these swords. And they didn't do that much damage. Eight. I think they might have gotten charged by some axes or something. Yeah, let's do some replenishment. For the glory of the Camry. I will attack you once more. Okay. And what do we do now? Well, as I said, we're gonna merge some of these troops. Because there's no real reason why we shouldn't. We don't need as much cavalry, even though it's quite beneficial to have it. Casualties suffered, minus 11 supplies. Okay. So I'm setting you back into these bases. We will serve you well. Hit hard and fast. Yeah, and from here on out, we will have to decide this battle as well. And we have only one sword against one sword. Uh, Welsh armored axe. We should be good against his Welsh uh, against his axe. 
through we have a Axeman. I don't think we have enough troops. This cavalry won't do anything against him. We have three cavalry units, we have two archers and they have the towers as well. In two turns they'll start taking attrition. But we're already taking attrition. Yeah, unfortunately here I don't think we can win. They have the superior numbers Retire and the walls. The so we're gonna give this one up. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make this decision. Because I feel like it's it's going to be the right one. And then we'll take the shield efficiency. I do like that 20% against missile troops but you know we stabilize the situation I think at this point we are good to go we're gonna take it one at a time they'll recruit a new general they'll bring in you know more or troops they'll try to take back some of the territory yeah as you can see they already have a king in here and he could march up to here Let's see, we failed the mission yeah, to give this guy, because we couldn't give that guy food. Mission issued, 5 supplies if we give Catwarded an agricultural estate. But if I give them an estate, I'll lose an influence and this guy will gain a minus 1 penalty. Let's see, what happens if I give you this? Nothing, we just lose 10 food. Sure, I'll give you this. Because we do need the supplies, the, that's the reason why I'm giving him that. But as I said, this guy lost some... Port and farm, we succeeded this mission. Uh, this guy is now at 2 because he's more influential than us. Yep, pretty much the way we thought it would go with you. I'm gonna continue adding a scribe with this general. I am going to go forward and we're gonna capture this territory. That means plenty of supplies coming in during the next turn. Same with this guy. One turn to get up to here. Well, let's tax the province. Nice, so now we have 47 food. Yeah, we left the territory open and Northumbria seems to have taken upon itself to take on, to win the battle. Do I want to give you troops? And the answer is yes. I do. So let's give you one of each and two spears. That's 40 food. We're gonna consume every little bit of it. Let's go to the next level of the timber yard. And I would like two wives here. This guy is a good governor. Yeah, we're gonna assign him later. But let's see. Can I not get a wife somewhere in here? I hope you repay my hospitality with fair words. Sensible. Plus one loyalty, plus one zeal, and plus one to governance. Governance or minus one loyalty, but plus two to influence. You know what? First of all, I will get this Makes wife sense. or our king that gives him influence. That means that the loyalty will be stable now. And we can give this one to We're happy with our heir, right? There we have it. Very well played. 
And now he's at four governance and he still has a lot of place to grow. And that's quite it for this turn. Not sure I want to do anything else with the money. We still have some good public order. But eight is from characters. How many, like this one, going with this chain, it will provide us with income from salt buildings in all regions. Basically, we can have a monopoly and that would be great. But if I look for the salt makers, there's another one here. Another one here. So, three. And it's too far south. There's another one here. Yeah, not that many salt makers, so I wouldn't really go with that one. I think I'm gonna go the other direction. With a bit of extra food, a bit more salt, some commerce and industry, which income, which adds. So industry comes from here, the industry bonus, and the commerce will come from these areas. That's pretty much it. We will serve you well. We are Arthur's folk, true of heart. Ships entering port for the glory of the Cymru. Yeah, let's get a turn of positive supplies. And start getting some replenishments in because we've suffered a lot. Yeah. Well, as I said, he's trying to move in, he's doing some weird movement as the AI does. We can add, we can pay some people to add them to the infantry units, or we could convince them, use some influence to get Axe Infantry. You know what? I do want to do that. A Moraine of Cattle. Minus two public order in all regions. And minus 50% to farms. Every man will do his exactly, exactly what I didn't need, I would say. Battle Let's go call. forward here. We cannot. He's going to move. Every man will do his duty. And we're going to move Wait here back. as well. Take this farm from him. For this uh, hunter hut. In Jedu's name. And I could recruit a few more troops there, but I don't think it's necessary. Do I want to add another axe or two? Maybe not during this turn, because I want the positive food in order to replenish. Not My holes are enriched by your Kilbrug. Take a seat. Okay. They've pushed hard. Dude, North Leo doesn't have anything else. And the problem is Northumbra has 220 no. stack armies no. and their vassal with I don't like the progress they've made. Do they have any other enemies at the moment? No. I wanna take them down to be honest. I'm not gonna march north just yet. I might march towards Sudriar. Because they've the taken the here. entire region. But well, let's see. So here we're still going to keep this extra food for now. In this region, this is pretty much mixed. This would be We may you, both benefit from this you are team. also a vassal, so they have no four armies of 20 troops. Then what I'm going to focus on is getting the extra food. 
we need to upgrade these areas in order for us to push against Northumbria and its vassals. We got a, I think that's a rebellion for us. And I think we just, if it's our rebellion. I think if I auto resolve, I will lose. So I'll see you in a second. I'm not gonna show you the battle once more, but I'll see you in a second. Okay, that was done. So there we have it. North Load is out of the game. Yeah. We've lost the port there. We gained some heroism. And we also lost, like, unfortunately, we've also run. lost the money that we had just invested in upgrading this port, which is a bit unfortunate. A 1% chance to rebel, and we got it. Sometimes luck is not on your side. What can you do? Oh yeah, we start again repairing and uh, we don't have the money to go up to the next level. We are Arthur's folk, true of heart. Let's see, where are we at? What do I want to throw in for this guy? Going for sieges is not important. Priest you don't need. Forager could be interesting, especially if I want to go north. Like removing that snow attrition at maximum level could be great. A bard, you know what, let's throw in some zeal and some replenishment on this guy. My warriors will not falter. Trained and ready. We cut. Yeah, I'm not sure I, what I'm going to do right do now. For you, but I am going to bring this army around up to here. I'm gonna give you the, the give them the sword. Yeah, let's end the turn. And now we just need to be patient while we while we resupply ourselves, we get some replenishments in, try to get a bit more food, try to let Northumbra move away from us. And as soon as they move away from us, maybe we'll start threatening them. Right? Because he leaves his nineteen stack here. This guy doesn't have any kind of army close to us. And it seems like Northumbria pretty much moved away from this theater. If they declare war south on Istangla or maybe Myers, that would be great. Um, yeah, let's do this for now. Recruitment. We have 30 food. So I could get another archer here. Another axe, two more of these axes. I just went slightly over the food limit. Every man will do his duty. Advance, warriors. Okay. We will serve you well. Question is, do I want to keep this general around? What do you have? You have enough loyalty to where I can send you home, but you provide with five provide us with five local public order, and I think that is okay. I will keep you there. And I do wanna raise some of these levels. This settlement definitely needs more help. Defensive tactics has been researched. 
get to recruit more royal spears. Let's see, Welsh armor swordsman and male axe. We can't afford any of these for the moment. I could get a bit more power on our horses, and I think that is good. Let's go with that path. Every man will do his duty. Yeah, and since I can't seem to be getting enough on the food we're just gonna merge this to be on positive food right that extra replenishment is what we need going forward another end turn question what if i was to turn against Cersen and go up or what if i was to go against sudriar alliance serves us both you want a defensive alliance against Cersei and Fortru. You don't have a lot of territory now, do you? Would have been a no. to your propositions okay he has some enemies here and there they've advanced into the mainland but just taking a look at them we're on the same level what about Northumbra How, what does it say about us against them so we are at a disadvantage strength wise Well, if we were to head on here, maybe bring an army over on this side, like take this sails, take on this port. Driar is trying to get into the mainland of Ireland. And while I could bring like two armies on the left, on the west coast, I could train a brand new army here to go towards the south. However, while we were would get a monastery, which would be good, other than that, economically it doesn't really make sense now, does it? These areas are very hard to move through, very hard to hold. We will take a lot of attrition, and thus I think fighting Northumbra might still be the way to go. Okay. And I think I I agree with myself on that side. It's going to be better if we were to fight these By units. No we will serve you well. For the glory of the Cambridge! Hey. Then we'll land one more turn and we'll put a cut in here. While we have managed to defeat Northload and expand some of our territory, it's at this point that we need to our be even more gutsy, well by this. I would say. Oh uh, no, Perhaps. let's not marry him to her. And what do you think? Could we create? A in arms is always welcome. If I make, because I don't care that much about Gwynedd, but if I create a good relationship here and I ask them to declare war on Northumbra, let it be. That could be interesting. And what about East Angla? You will get a fair they have a lot of enemies. Okay, 
So, uh, are they at war with Northumbra yet? My holes are enriched no, by not yet. Okay. So this is going to have to be we pretty much it temporarily. Battle calls. But quite soon we're going to be in a Everyone very interesting position to, where we're you fighting three different factions. No, they might attack us first. Apparently a 20 stack army is heading towards us. We are folk to so it remains to be seen in tomorrow's episode how things will unfold but until then i really hope you have enjoyed this episode and this campaign so far and i wish you all to have a wonderful day